Okay, let's see, today is August 24th of 2017, a Thursday. Uh, just wanted to update you a little bit on what's been going on. I decided I wanted to start doing green screen stuff where I could have something behind me and be in front of it. So I rearranged everything, moved everything. I'm not done. Then I changed my mind. I ordered in these, uh, which I think you can see over here, right there. And then uh, with them, I ordered this. And they slide in there. Uh, very inexpensive. Not real, real sturdy, but I mean, no problems so far. But that was done with the idea that I was trying to get rid of these. I had purchased a bunch of these at a dollar store for one dollar and put USB cables in one, audio cables in another. Uh, just, I had a, I don't know how many I have, a whole bunch of, some of them still have some stuff in them. Uh, so my idea was to get rid of these, but now I've, I'm seeing that uh, that's kind of perfect for stacking them over there. So uh, what I'm doing is making a lot of work for myself and then going back and changing everything around. So I now just have my one LG wide do they call it super wide? Wide monitor and the 27 inch other monitor that I had hooked up in here. I've got it on the floor for right now. Uh, just dragging something over there. And just a little thing, but uh, like here, this is yellow, right? Uh, when I would drag it over on the other monitor, it was kind of an orange color. Now, I guess I needed to adjust, but I just put the monitor on the floor. I'm still rearranging things and trying to find where to put everything. Uh, two, what I'm thinking about, and I think I probably will do, is right here on the, what do you call that, the... Uh, on TV. What you see on the screen now, I'm thinking about when I make these videos, unless I'm making one specifically on some subject, which you know me, I, I decide to uh, You know, I decide to change things around. But what I'm thinking about doing is creating these lower third screens. And when I make my videos, which are blog videos discussing various subjects, I'm going to come up with... Uh, you know, I'll probably have this at the beginning. Uh, maybe in the bottom part would be uh, my email address. <clears throat> maybe something else. But then as I change subjects, like one might be, and of course I need to come up with, uh, like news, I say news, but if that's news, what I mean is, that's not, I'm going to try to, I'm not, a, I'm not CNN or anything. What I would be doing is just showing you or telling you and commenting on uh, when I look at the uh, when I look at the news uh, that I just bring up what I noticed what jumped out at me uh, which right now I live in Texas but I'm now down on the coast. I don't think I would uh, comment on the 
hurricane. Um, I would look at the news, and I think I would just mention to you something that pops out at me. I don't think here about uh, the boy that was drugged to, or you know, that uh, went back to Cuba. So I'm not sure what it would be, but so news would be one of the topics. Um, hardware or software might be one, and then in that category, then I would jump and start talking about uh, a new piece of hardware that I got or a new program that I like. I probably also might have uh, a heading that would be. Uh, movie or TV show or something like that. I might I have a real problem finding any movies to watch. I end up watching the same movies that I've that I like from the past and I just can't find new movies but um, so I might throw in there would be TV shows or movies. I might have a thing pop up. I might be one of the things segments would be uh, software. I might talk about a new Android app that I installed or something like that. So that's what I'm thinking about doing, you know, right now. Um, so I'll see how that uh, how that works out. I don't think it's a good idea to have that thing on there to the lower third. At uh, quite often I'm watching CNN or something like that, and they have the uh, bottom thing they're covering up. I'm going to sneeze here, I think. I don't have a cold. <coughs> uh, probably dust from <coughs> moving everything around in here. My bed is totally, let's see, what, let's see which camera would be a better one. Uh, camera, okay. Eventually I would learn to uh, there you go, you can see. I'd like to be able to do that without having to reach. That's my bed covered with uh, stuff that I haven't put away yet. You know, there's that whiteboard in the background. I use that a lot to remember things. I, you would think that I would use a computer, uh, a computer program for that, but I end up using the whiteboard. It's much better for my mind for me to use. I think it shows, well, you probably don't see it. It's up at the top. It tells me that tomorrow I need to do my pacemaker check over the phone. Actually, it's over the cell phone thing. And uh, I may make up a section on here that's uh, like political, but I'm going to try not to just, I'm just going to try to, if I do that, I'm sure I'm not going to be singing the praises of President Trump. But I'm going to try not to just go off on him. I think what I'm just try to do is comment on whatever the current situation is and give the pros and the cons as best I can and make suggestions, kind of ask you questions like, you know, here's what I think maybe we could do to, you know, improve the situation. And I'm not going to go into it big time right now, but I think one of the problems is uh, the money in politics. As soon as a politician is elected to, as soon as a congressman, House member or Senate member is elected, especially a House member, they have to immediately start raising money in order to you know, in order to be reelected, they know that. They're told that when they, if you're a newly elected 
same house member, you go there, your people meet you, uh, you know, fellow house members of your party, and I'm sure some from the other part, well, probably not so much nowadays, but, and, you know, they tell you where the bathrooms are, what privileges you have, and, uh, you know, here's your office, and all that, they tell you, and they, they admit, you know, that uh, they say you need to, and I forget what it is, Okay, in order to get enough money to be reelected in two years, and that's how long a house term is, you know, you need to bring in five thousand. I forget what the exact amount is, but you need to bring in five thousand dollars every day. You need to get donations uh, of or bribes. They don't say bribes, but of five five thousand dollars a day, in order to have the necessary money to you know. So I think what we need to do is make it so the government pays for the election and so that a congressman not only does he not need to raise money uh, it should be against the law to even take a penny and that would be very difficult to get that passed Democrats and Republicans Democrats supposedly would you know be somebody in favor of that but if they're elected Democrats, uh, they don't want an even playing field. Uh, they want to be the incumbent who has uh, an improved chance of being reelected because he's an incumbent, and they don't want to do anything. I think the only way we could do something like that would be if it was passed and it wasn't going to take effect for like 25 years or something. I don't just don't, I don't think we could ever have that uh, put into law. Uh, another thing that should be fixed is gerry, gerrymandering, where uh, the local states decide on the districts in their state. Uh, in the past, well, Democrats and both Democrats and Republicans in the past, I think a, quite a while back, the Democrats had you know a better chance and they gerrymandered they now they didn't do it as extreme as the republicans do it now for various reasons uh, but they did it and of course the republicans have gone you know ballistic <laughs> pushed it to such an extreme i think the supreme court is going to hear a case about that but there again, unfortunately, I think it's going to come down to, you know, politics. Right now, the Republicans have control about two thirds of the states, uh, in the state level, on the, their state legislature and on the governorships and that type of thing, and that puts them in a very good position, gives them a lot of power, and I don't think the Supreme Court's going to rule. Uh, that's something that would hurt, you know, that would make it a level playing field that would take away, it would take away the, you know, it should be with, especially with computers or whatever, these districts that are gerrymandering, they do things to make sure that their party gets elected. And by slicing the thing up, they can, sure, okay, we'll put all these black people over here. Don't have them spread out, you know, and different districts because then they're going to affect the election so we make this you know rare thing in order to stick them all in that one district so that okay they can elect a representative but that's it and these others will be safe for our party so I don't see the court really ruling uh, that's a thing too that so disappointing is there are courts, uh, the Supreme Court, they're political. The judges are, you know, political. That They proved that with the Al Gore uh, election or whatever. Uh, they just, there was more Republicans there. The, all the Republican United uh, Supreme Court justices all voted, give it to Bush. And... Uh, 
if I were a judge, I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't think we should. I don't think it should matter what a judge's politics are. I think a judge should go there and whatever you know. Like I'm opposed to the death penalty for various reasons. Uh, if I were a judge, though, and I was ruling on a law or whatever, that would be it. And if it came down to, you know, it, but that's not what happens. I know some of you are probably, when I was talking about <clears throat> the election system or whatever, uh, are thinking what we need is term limits. And I don't agree, well, one, the Supreme Court ruled on federal, I think it's on federal elections, that you can't put in, like, so that's for, well, like for your, although there are, you know, state, like the House of Representatives, you can't have term limits. Uh, for the senators, you can't have term limits. Uh, of course, we do for the president, we have two terms. but. Uh, Even if you could put term limits into effect, now I think you can, I think you could, but nobody wants to probably, for like your local state legislature, I think you could probably put term limits into effect. Those guys are all a bunch of idiots. Uh, so I think, you know, and then also too we can see with President Trump and with the people that he's pulled in, we need people, you know, President Trump doesn't, God, he wants to, I guess he was home playing Monopoly or something using real money uh, when he was a kid and he must have missed, he doesn't understand the government, he doesn't understand civics, he doesn't know, he doesn't know anything about how anything works in Washington, D.C., and the people he's brought in, a lot of them don't. And we actually need congressmen and senators, so it would be dis disastrous if all of them were turned out and you had all new people coming in. They wouldn't have any idea, you know, we need people who have, and especially that was the idea with the Senate, that you would have experienced people who had, were there for, you know, a longer period of time and who would, if we had, like what's going on now, let's say, taking down the Confederate statues or whatever. Um, there would be the Senate that would be a, you know, so if there's, if the temperature's rising over something or other and, and uh, like a mob mentality and all the House members who are elected for two years, if they were just elected uh, and they wanted to uh, burn down uh, mosque or if they wanted to uh, make uh, Muslims wear whatever their emblem is, I don't think they, you know, that you would have the Senate to moderate because they would be there for a longer period of time and hopefully they would be not swayed by the mob mentality. But, uh, so I, I'm not in favor of term limits. But what's sickening is that, I didn't intend to get in all this, but uh, what's sickening is that we have House members and Senate members who all they care about is being reelected. And for the Republicans, that means no new taxes and taking money out of the budget. Uh, destroying whatever they need to destroy and taking that money and giving it to rich people. Uh, it's too bad that we don't have uh, politicians or statesmen who, you know, get elected to Congress and who put the benefit of the country first. You know, they're the country, and you don't, you know, we don't have that. 
and you can see it in every you know in every way. So anyway, this is. I'm not sure how well did I do on. I mean, I can't say anything good about President Trump, but I'd like to talk about some of the, the issues with things that we could do. I really think now, our the way our system has gone, I think we'd probably be better off going to uh, a parliamentary system. You know, still keep our president. Our president would be, uh, with Trump in office, I hate to say that, but uh, the president would be like the queen. You know, except not with you know, not with all the ceremony, not with the crown, not with that, but would be the representative of the country. Would greet, you know, and maybe do some other duties. But I think too, the president should even now, if we keep the our total system the way we have it now, I think the president uh, should have one term, make it six years, let's say, because. It doesn't work the way it's working. It should work now because the president is elected for a four-year term, and then right away when things come up, okay, well we can't pass that now, but we'll do that when I am, you know, put that off till my second term. When I get reelected, then put it off for that second term. Then we can do it. What we need to do is the president has one six-year term. Okay, the president comes in. No matter what the issue is, a wall, uh, uh, health care, uh, strengthen the military, whatever it is, he has six years to do it. He doesn't have to worry about being reelected because he can't be reelected. But anyway, I think because our system now is, I mean, it, it, our founding fathers did a fantastic job. And our system has worked as, has worked really well until recently, but I don't see it getting, you know, with someone like Donald Trump being elected, elected, did I say elected, <laughs> elected? Uh, I think we need to change to maybe a parliamentary form of government and retain the, you know, retain the president and we need to come up with, and maybe the president then could fall into, you know, that category. We need to do something about uh, Supreme Court justices. We shouldn't be picking people, that, that whoever has the political power, we shouldn't be picking people that are political in the way that the, whoever they're governing party wants. We should be picking incorruptible, honest men or women who, you know, love the law and who are going to do the right thing, irregardless of their own personal beliefs. So, and how we come up with that system, I don't know. It's, that's one of the big things. So far, President Trump has accomplished nothing except he did get a Republican uh, Supreme Court Justice appointed who's going to be there for 30, 40, 50, 50 years in that, you know, that position. But we need to come up with some other way. I don't know what system, no matter what you come up with, people are going to try to corrupt it. They're going to try to play it. So, I don't know what it is. You know, you couldn't have uh, whatever the thing for lawyers, well they have state law uh, boards or whatever, I'm not sure what you would, uh, Republicans would object, and I probably would object too if you said, well, uh, the following are the top 15 law schools in the United States. So uh, the dean or whatever of that school 
uh, will come up, you know, there'll be a consensus and then that'll be, you know, no matter what you did, there would be, and people would be spending money then, you know, uh, United States Steel, and I'm sure they exist anymore, tobacco, everybody would be going to the college, those colleges and saying, uh, we'd like to build you a new building. By the way, there's going to be a, you know, so I don't know what the solution is. I see a lot of problems, but I don't know what the solutions are. Maybe we could come up with a solution here on my YouTube channel and recommendations and just post it someplace. And then 10, 15, 20 years from now, I'll be dead. I'll be dead long before 20 years from now, but they'll say, well, back in the olden days, the users on a YouTube channel, which doesn't, YouTube doesn't exist anymore, but they came up with the following proposals, and we're now going to adopt one or more of those. Anyway, thank you very much for if you want to comment on, I don't, I got a feeling you don't like the idea of segmenting the thing. I, because some of you have commented that you'd like it one subject. So, you could then look at the, you know, the title, <clears throat> Jim Howard on politics and you know to avoid it. Uh, Jim Howard on Android apps. Oh, okay, I, I was wondering about it. Uh, Launcher, you know, which launcher would be the best? Let's go see if he, you know, I think he like that rather than having me covering different subjects in one, one video. But anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching.